Welcome back, my lambs. We're playing some Magic Standard again. I got a very special deck that I've been working on, trying to play, giving some good stuff, and it is a Lich Knight's Conquest Reanimator deck. What are we doing? We're making a bunch of blood tokens. We got Voldera and Epicure. We got the Charming's Ground Rules to make treasure tokens. We got Blood Tithe Harvester. Voldaren Blood Caster. She casts blood. It's great. Collector Vault also makes tokens, good artifact stuff, and then we use Lich King's Conquest to sacrifice any number of artifacts or enchantments, turn the many creatures from our graveyard to our battlefield. What are we reanimating? You know, Atali's, Phyrexian Flesh Gorgers, but really, it's Imodane's Recruiter, giving all our creatures haste, killing our opponent on the spot. Kind of like a combo deck, kind of mid-rangey, good stuff. We got some decent dragon. We got Itsuchi, you know, good stuff. Uh, Sire, well, our mana base, we, we have the white sources so we can actually cast the trained troops if we need to. That's like pretty desperation, but yeah, sometimes you might want to make two, two, two white knights. Uh, but also just having creature lands in your deck, pretty strong. So we just have like a caves and a battlefield forge just to kind of fuel the white sources. But really it's just, it's just these colors. Sideboard, Oni Call Anvil. Uh, in case we want to go lower to the ground to be able to get more value. More vats of rebirth if that's the kind of plan we want to do. If they're going to hit us with the graveyard too much, we can just kind of pivot a little bit. This is also really crazy with Atsushi making three treasure tokens. This dies, sacrifice treasure tokens, reanimate back the Atsushi. It just kind of loops forever. Good stuff like that. We got one Rankle and Tor Torbran. Sure. I don't know. Maybe it's good. Never played it. Argenta Massacre, deal with like enchantments, artifacts, things that like that. And uh, Cityscape Leveler, same kind of idea, another big reanimator target. Uh, Obnixilis, another way to make tokens, another way to kind of just take over the game. A Planeswalker they might not be expecting. That's the deck. Oh, Urborg Scavengers is our graveyard hate. A little creature comes into play. Can maybe get some cool stuff if they're playing uh, the big Atraxa decks. Enough, enough chatting. Enough chitting, enough chatting. Let's dive into this beautiful game. Let's see what's going on. We'll ready our gooses. Let's blitz it up. If you're new, and you've made it this far into the thing, you've passed my rambling about that deck, maybe you should subscribe. Or like. Maybe even leave a comment. Who knows? Uh, if you're not new, welcome back. You know what to expect. Some gameplay. Maybe a couple jokes here or there. Maybe not. Depending on what your definition of joke is. This hand looks awesome. We're gonna collect our Atali right into the graveyard. We have the white source if we ever need that. Hand looks good. We're gonna keep it. Keeping that. Beautiful. All right, throw a red deck. We might have just lost. We didn't just lose. Two Atalis. We could bring back two Atalis with the Knight, uh, Lich Knight's Conquest. Pretty wild. Double trigger. Cast all our spells. Uh, a mass reanimation spell costing five is pretty, pretty above the curve. Oh, it's the Pia deck. Okay, we might be able to. Hopefully, they're not too fast. We might be able to do this. We'll see though. Then popped. Okay. I hope they don't blow it up. They didn't. Good news for us. Uh, we're just gonna pass. We can choose if we wanna, you know, get our expensive taste. Blue cards is not what we're looking for. Alright, I'm gonna take that. Sure thing. What blue? What? Why don't they play blue in this deck? Oh. We've, we have answers. We have answers. Uh, I'm gonna play this. I'm gonna play Blood Tithe Harvester. We're gonna set up for next turn. Now we can at least block with Blood Tithe Harvester, and if we want to sacrifice three things, we can. And then we can 
There we go. Alright. They're going to deal a lot of damage to us. It's not great. But next turn we should be pretty good. Let's see if we die here though. Who knows? They could just have like three pump spells in hand and we die. That would be not great. Yeah, we're going to take more damage there. What? Uh, attacks, XL target, non-creature, non-land card with mana. Uh, Grave, you may cast a copy without paying. Okay, they decide not to cast their spell for whatever reason. Let's see what we draw. I hope they don't have a counter spell. That's what I'm hoping for. I'm banking on no counter spell because we gotta just, we gotta just smash this Lich King out right now. All right, my turn. Does it work? Uh, okay, for three. It's not bad. The field's in play. We didn't really lose anything. I will absolutely cast both of these cards. And uh, that's how the deck works. We get to turn five and then we do this. And our turn five looks a lot better than our opponent's turn five. Although we are at nine, so we gotta watch out. Tali was evil. Agreed. But we are playing a reanimator deck. He'll be back. Dirt. Torched up. The exile kind of sucks, but that's fine. Okay, well, they killed all my stuff. They have another destroy evil. The bop him, sure. We're gonna be taking six. I will block here. Uh, well, I have to activate this. Not what I wanted to draw. I think we might just die here. Get three damage. That was pretty good. Uh, we'll discard the blood. We'll sack of blood. Discard a card. Yep. That's that. That was a lot of value. Can't believe they killed all my creatures. Okay, so what do we do against that? Hmm. Scavenger. Maybe. Draw better? Probably just draw better, right? I think we just draw our cards better than our opponent draws their cards and that's how we get out of this maybe i'll bring in the scavengers just to hit their graveyard to like go down this one of them one of them see how that goes just to exile the cards with the graveyard not because we want to hit their creatures or anything just a way Deal with that. Um, mm, I like the hand, but it's too clunky. Yep, we'll keep this. We're probably going to dump this Atali. Because we're going to try and win off the back of Atsuchi, I think. The power of Atsuchi. Keep six. We'll put Atali away. We'll play good old Restless Bivouac. Yeah, we'll throw that in play. It's free. Without any direct removal spells, that was a uh, that was tough. Maybe we should have some destroy evils in the sideboard. Maybe not. Who knows?
Okay, we got Pia. They're going to play a land. They have nothing to strangle, which is nice. Oh, they're not going to do anything. They're going to get no value. That's also nice. I will take no value. So if worse comes to worse, we have we do have the Atsushi loop with the Bat of Rebirth. So we're, we're holding out there. Okay, Reckless Impulse. Hell yeah. Destroy evil, sure. We will absolutely get the treasure. Take the damage, sure. Uh, let's play Restless Bivouac. Let's play this. And end the turn. We'll just keep on making treasure. We'll probably discard the Sulphur Springs or if we hopefully we just draw a creature. That'd be the best. Mentor. Take three. See what we get. Yeah, discard the Sulphur Springs. Not exactly what we're looking for. Uh, that's not the worst thing in the world. Let's, uh... I think we do this. Activate. We get rid of the Archpriest. We can cast play the Haunted Ridge. We can animate the Bivouac. We can sack. Are we killing it? Okay. Oh. Sack, sack, sack. Resolve. Resolve. Sure. The black dies. Use this. Bring back Archpriest? I th nah, nah, we'll bring back Atsushi. We'll keep the loop going. At least it's a good blocker. Absolutely block this. That's gonna deal the most damage if they cast stuff. Sure. Resolves. Get the bat, make token or treasures. Take a bit of damage. You have one card in hand. I hope it's bad. <laughs> that's that's my dream. That they just have a bad card in hand. Do that. Three creatures now. Let me do it. Ooh, perfect. Very good. We will... Yep. Good. Dead. Love to see it. Uh, do we just run it back? That was pretty good. Kinda. That was kinda good. Maybe I'll go down to Scavengers, go up a second bat. See if we can bat him out. Put him in the bat. Uh, very good. Okay, uh, hand looks good. Charming Scoundrel is very, I mean, huge. Charming Scoundrel is huge for this deck. It does basically everything we want it to do. I think we're just going to loot right now. Where's card Atali? Draw a card. Attack for one. Okay. Good old Monastery Mentor. Then we will Epicure. Collector's Vault. No attacks. Uh, next turn, I think we're just going to slam the Atsuchi. Just so good in play. 
Okay, we're getting reckless. Good stuff. Whatever, I'll block, I don't care. Something to reanimate later. There's... There's the man of the hour. Yeah, we're just gonna play with Sushi, though. Um... No, we'll hold back. See what they play. I mean, they probably have a spell to pump their little guy, but I'd rather just block with Charming Scoundrel at this point. Especially now that we have the vault down, and they're probably gonna kill this. Yeah, there we go. We'll absolutely make treasure. Thank you, opponent. Pass it up. We're not taking three. I mean, it's kind of free, right? Uh, no. Uh, is it free? It's free enough. Free enough. Maybe we hit something big and silly. Awesome. They have a counter spell? They do! See, now, now that's a problem. Counter spell sucks. Now we'll play a scoundrel just so we can take less damage. We will absolutely uh, put a wicked roll on him. No attacks. Now they have to have something to block this mentor. And that negate was huge for them. So this sucks. Oh, this is bad. Mm-hmm. Oh, they can't. Oh, their mana's bad. But it doesn't really matter. Like, we have to just block here. Oh my god. Crazy. Take one opponent. Urborg Scavengers is not going to do it. Uh, one, two. Uh, I basically, yeah, I just have to draw the Lich. Tali doesn't cut it. Discard a Tali. Play a Scavengers. Anything with lifelink? Doesn't look like it. That is probably game. Uh, yep. Counter spell. Got us. We're dead. They have lethal in play. They can cast more spells. On to the next one. It was close. That was a good, timely... Man, cat playing the gate in that deck feels weird. I mean, obviously, if you're playing blue mana anyways, you'd play the gate. Just makes sense. But it just feels weird, because you kind of don't want to be... You don't want to exile it. That is super telegraphed. Um, I wonder if I could have waited a turn. Maybe. And just cast spells instead. Until they tap out their blue. But they're just going to hold it up forever. Anyways. And they, they had the aggro, so that's fine. Not much I could have done in that situation, I don't think. I'm going to keep this. And looks nice. We're not going to start with this. We're going to start with the Restless Fortress. Just because we want to get our tap lands out of the way so we can start casting our spells. Ooh, nice. Alright, so... Blood Man. There he is. Ooh, Gabacon! They're probably going to take the Lich Knight Conquest, is what I would imagine. They could, for some reason, take the Collector's Fault. But that would be... Oh my... They, they took bad card instead of good card. I'm a little shocked, personally. But, they're allowed to play Magic however they choose. Okay, they're doing nothing. We're gonna activate this. Discard Atsuchi. Play a land. We're getting in. Sure. Circle in play. Well, circle not in play, but circle. Alright. Sweet. 
End the turn. This is going well for us. I might just slam a Charming Scoundrel next turn. Oh, they're... Everyone's playing the Pia deck. Everyone's playing Pia deck, except for this one doesn't have blue, so it's going to be a lot harder for them to interact with us. Play a land. This. Make a treasure. We're going in. Get the damage. What do you got? You're going to cast your... Hilarious. Which one are you going to pick? Alright. We don't have any big chunky card just yet. So it's not... I mean, I guess because we have two, we should probably cast one. Just get all the value. Uh-huh. There he is. Everyone's favorite druid. The questing druid. The questing type. They're not attacking Gabakon, they're attacking me. We got tokens in play. They've announced their wedding. What a great wedding it was. Uh, well. Let me do this. One, two, three. They know about one. They don't know about the second one. Bring back all the blood tokens. Um, yeah, we'll play Black Leaf Cliffs. That's fine. No attacks. They can start playing their Virtue of Loyalty, but I'm not super sure. Evil is destroyed. We wanna... Nah, we're just gonna make token treasure. Look at all that treasure. Yes. Yes. Pass. Perfect. Kill that. Kill that. Good. Make a token. Oh, they get to draw a card. That's fine, though. That's also fine. Uh, well, we're gonna dump this guy. We don't want him. Or, yeah, we don't want this guy. We'll play Collector's Vault. And pass the turn. No attacks. We'll just Collector's Vault at the end of their turn. They're doing some card draw. Very nice. Light up the night. I guess they could light up the night the invasion if they wanted to, right? Oh no. Target creature planeswalker. Okay. Yes. Very good. Are you going to Gobblecon now? Just attacking us. Okay. Easy plays. We're activating. Okay, we'll discard the land. We just want a big creature. That's all we're looking for. Does that count? No haste yet, but we'll uh we'll, we'll do this. Okay, that's pretty good. Maybe I'll do that. Uh, I'll do it again. That. So now I can play this. I got five mana. Auto pay. And uh, let's let me check the grave. I have one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. So I'll just, yeah, I'll sacrifice seven things. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Three. Three make the whole graveyard, get all my stuff back. Uh, we're gonna go and put a wicked roll on themselves. And, yeah, we'll give a plus one plus one, why not? We'll attack in. Very good. Uh, we have Death Touch, because we have the backup, so we get to kill them both, deal them another one, and uh, this is looking pretty good. Sure, destroy evil, they take seven. Easy plays. Uh, do they have a second destroy evil to kill my Archpriest of Shadows? Okay, and here is Warcrafting on the Tsuchi, which seems very strange, but have at it. Um, 
Well, I'm gonna exile the top two cards. We're gonna get card advantage this time. Beautiful. Looking good. The virtue of loyalty is down. And, okay. Just make a token. Uh, we'll black the Eclipse. Exile the top cards. Auto pay. Why not? Get in with these. Awesome. Let's... Do we just exile and get this guy? Um, I guess we just end the turn. That's fine. We're we're still doing pretty good. They have lots of cards in the uh, in their exile to cast though. Questing druid, sure. Reckless impulse. Yep. Pump everyone up. We would destroy evil. That's pretty spicy. Evil is destroyed. We will block with blood type heart. Ah, uh, maybe we'll just take the damage. Actually, they don't even attack. Awesome. Uh, yeah. So we're going to Dragon. Wedding announcement. Workshop. And... Kill the Druid. Make a token. Easy blocker. They have to kill this, or they die. I mean, they could try and kill me, I guess. That's a play. Okay, block here, yeah, block here, block here, take eight, and then we kill him in the air. Good stuff. It's illegal to attack when they can see the game. Not allowed to attack when the game ends. So, we are trying to outvalue them. If it's a value game they want to play, then let's play a value game, shall we? Uh, the dragon was okay. They don't have very many flying blockers, so that's pretty good. So maybe we'll go down one Atali. Uh, one of these guys. They were really afraid of this. Do I go down the Blood Tithe? One Collector Vault, maybe? Maybe maybe one Recruiter. Go up another Vat. Two Oni Cult Anvils. And kind of beat it like that. I'm going to go down him for... No, that's that's a foolish play. Uh, yeah, they don't have any, they don't have any counter spells, so. Lich Knight's, Lich Knight's Conquest is very good against them. Especially when we brought back seven creatures, it was awesome. Do you imagine if they had haste? Would have been over. Maybe this game. Uh, well, we got the bat. We got this guy, which will be good. And the, we, we got a lot of the stuff. We're pretty weak against Gabacon, though. Which isn't great. Yep. I guess they're not going to take out the destroy overs, but we're not really playing any... Oh, perfect. We're not really playing any enchantments so much. Like, they can blow up a wicked roll, but that seems... Pretty counterintuitive. Okay, slam slam. Good stuff. Uh, I guess we are just going to do this. And we'll make a treasure. Why not? Smash in. Just to get the bat going. And have something to sacrifice for our Lich King. Okay, they have their engine now. More tokens, perfect. Oh, they're going in? Getting feisty. I like it. Ooh, I could play both. And I think I will. Right, Blood Man. I will absolutely auto pay. Get the counter on this. And, uh... 
I think we get in with everything. I don't really care if our stuff dies, right? Okay. Loyalty is encircled. We get a billion triggers. Love to see it. I almost hope they kill my creature. Not like that, though. That I don't like. Brotherhood's End, I guess, is a card we gotta worry about. Wow. Look at that. Oh, look at this, though. This is pretty good. Oh, yeah. All right, there we go. Good game. <laughs> oh, little Archpriest. I do love that card. That's why I'm playing it. I don't know if it's the optimal card in this deck. I don't really care. That's one of my favorite cards. Uh, best backup card, in my opinion, at least. All right, what do we got here? Cool. Let's play some more, shall we? We brought some Lich King. I guess everyone's playing the Pia deck now. If that's just the new meta, I'm fine with that. Especially if it's not the blue version where they have Counterspell. I am totally down to just reanimate without any uh, interaction. Uh, well, it's got lands. Let's keep it. We'll probably loot with this then. I will stay right. Ooh, a dragon. Nice. Hand's getting slightly better. Okay, well, are you gonna blow it up? They chose not to blow it up. Oh, well, we're just gonna play the treasure. Collector's Vault. Is it Counterspell? Counterspell. Alright. Our spell has been countered. They're playing five color counter spells. Scoundrel. Yep, use up all your counter spells now, opponent. That's what I like to see. Ooh. Uh, well, I'm gonna show you this guy. We're gonna pass the turn. We're just going to exile the top two cards of their deck when they tap out for something. Like right now. Hell yeah. Thank you, opponent. I do have expensive taste. Ooh, herd migration. That we can't... Oh, wait, well... The Proving Grounds will let us cast that, which is... And give us all those beautiful land types. So that's not the worst thing in the world. Eventually, we might herd migrate. We're also going to get treasure tokens, which is the point of, uh, kind of the point of this two card, two card combination. Such a happy little dragon. Mm -hmm. We're obviously playing some sort of a Troxa deck. Play this. What do we do? We're gonna get in. They're gonna take one, I'm assuming. Uh, we're gonna play good old fleshy. They cannot make it disappear. Or they, or I can just pay two. I'm fine if they make it disappear. The beautiful thing about the Flesh Gorger being a 3-3 is that we can sacrifice it and return it back to the graveyard. After. After we... Ooh, they're just tapping out. Okay. We'll take one damage. Get our Bloodcaster down. Uh, we do have to worry about things like Sunfall. Sunfall would be a problem. Uh, any kind of, like, 
destroy all creatures. Not too much of a problem, though. Okay. We're going to play the Proving Grounds. Show them who's boss. We're going to attack in. Almost don't want to play another creature. Into a Sunfall. So yeah, let's just keep this. Okay, Atroxa is fine. Fish. It's fine like. What do we got? They do have a Sunfall. That's bad news for us. I hate to see it. Ah, oh, Sunfall. What a... What a dumb card. There it is. Uh, now we're now we're we're in bad shape. I need <laughs> honestly just need a way to sacrifice all my stuff almost. Another sun lich is not bad. I could like sun lich one, sacrifice flesh gorger, bring back charming scoundrel, but then. What's the incentive for them to actually sunfall? Nothing. Uh, I am going to attack in. Game three. Build in three. Pass turn. They do win the race if we do if they do nothing. Okay. Invasion. What are we doing? Are they gonna flip these? Seems pretty bad. Okay, they're gonna flip those. Uh, we're just gonna block with this. We're just here to make blood tokens, opponent. Okay, they're announcing their wedding. Very good. Fortress. See, this is where it becomes tough. Okay, I guess I'll play in the Yutsushi. This is a blocker again. They have another counter spell. Yeah, we really need something. Uh, resolve. Uh, resolve. I will decline. I will also not pay for this one. Get in with the Flesh Gorger. Okay. We are on the back foot. We know they have the Sunfall. They played three Make Disappears against us. Classic. We're flipping. It's okay. Troxit is kind of a problem for our deck. We'll resolve that. So Sunfall. Sunfall and um, Farewell are pretty much the only two cards, uh, the biggest cards we don't want to see. Counter spells come after that, but exiling all the creatures, there's not a whole lot of gameplay we gotta play with that. Can I just kill my Flesh Gorger? Oh, they're gonna pop that. That's pretty funny. It, I mean, sure. It doesn't get around your sunfall, though. I'm just making them commit now. That's kind of awesome. Yeah, I mean, I, I could just cast Herd Migration. I think I'm just gonna do this, and... Bring back my creatures. Alright, like that. Make them sunfall. That's kind of my goal. I just want to make them sunfall. 
And then I can like cast herd Migration, or I can just get the Descendant Dragon down at least. They do have a backup Atroxa. Not great for us. But, okay, yeah, easy. I mean, I'm going to trade you here, and I'm going to kill this thing, and I'm going to block there, and block here. I'll make your Sunfall worse. Sure. They're all indestructible. You're gonna get your first strike, you're gonna get the Archangel. Anyone who harms my people must contend with oh, me. Okay. Strike that works too. He's indestructible. I guess you want to kill the Frexian Flesh Gorger. Are you going to Ajanu my Asushi? Maybe. I mean, it's a lot of a lot of cards they're using, and I'm just gonna get everything back because of my Voldaren Bloodcaster. Uh, I think I'm just gonna exile two cards. I'm just gonna get some card advantage. Perfect. We'll get a land for next turn. Okay, Phyrexian Flesh Gorger will die. Uh huh. Yes, yes, yes. Good stuff. Two more blood tokens. You're gonna get to draw a card. It's my turn, and yeah, I'm going to play this, and uh, I'm going to bring my four creatures. It's going to be fun. Do you have another make disappear opponent? Get the hell out of here. No. Okay, good. Yeah. So it's going to be Flex Gorger, Atsuchi, uh, Voldaren, and probably Charming Scoundrel this time. I'm going to definitely discard a card to draw a card. Oh, nice. Um, do I play Descendant Dragon? I don't think I do. I don't think I do. I think I just pass the turn. Not going to attack. Alright, we got Cycles on our opponent's side. I lose that land. That's fine. With me. Uh, they still have Sunfall. Hopefully they attack first so they can make their Sunfall worse. Archangel, sure. Resolve, resolve. Everyone's big and scary, yeah. Uh... Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You did it backwards, you need two blood tokens. You're fine with that. You gonna give who's who are they gonna give first strike to? I mean, they could, they could have big brain plays and not attack with their ground creatures, but that seems pretty bad. Show them how we greet yeah. our enemies. That's what I thought. So we're gonna block here. We're gonna block here. We'll take seven. Take some air damage. What do I want to do? Free treasure. I exile cards. If I hit a Tali, we can cast it. I'm going to do that. Okay. That's pretty good, too. My turn. Nice. Well, a Tali's also good. Uh, but... I think I want to do... this? Yep. Good in haste. Do they block the Archpriest of Shadows? Probably. Uh, is that lethal though? Do, do they kill with the backswing? What's that? Seven... K. Ooh, math time. Math time! Yeah, that's 20 damage. Blech. They got 20 damage. I messed up. Should have played... No, not a good game. Stupid. Silly game. Um, Alright. Seascape levelers in. Archpriest Shadow down. Uh, one of these guys down. Let's go down Blood Tide Harvester. Well, they're in Epicures. We don't need. 
Uh, maybe we do want this. We definitely want these scavengers. Because they can take away... I don't want these dragons. Don't need that. This guy... Uh, it doesn't hit it. Sacrifice... Uh, unless you discard a card, when you discard a card, destroy target, non-land, permanent, opponent controls, mana. Nah, let's do... This won't be fast enough. We're gonna have that. We're gonna have one of these. Let's get going. Let's get going. We're playing first. We are going to keep this. Maybe our collector vault will resolve. And we'll have a better game. Unless they sided into spell peers. Possible. They could be playing 8D chess. Three counter spells. Who knows? Okay. Well, we got cards. We got cards that do things. We play a little Voldaren Blood Bloodcaster, and they're going to make it disappear. Of course they do. They always have four make disappears in their hand at all times. Okay, they play the stupid card. We're gonna show them the worm. Do you like my worm? Oh, the shark. Hello, shark. Oh, we're gonna play the combos. And get in. As we know, that's sushi, bad of rebirth. Good synergy. Okay. Rexy and Flesh Burger going on a walk to remember. Do we scoundrel this? Make it bigger? I don't discard this. He has going for damage. Going in. Opponent thinks. What are they thinking about, though? March of Otherworldly Light is a a sad, unfortunate bit that we have to deal with in this standard. A lot of the cards just exile things. Yeah, we're gonna activate this now. Oh, so we'll discard that. We're gonna make a treasure. Keep our treasures going. Uh, they could still uh, do the Brotherhood's End, but that, then it blows up their incubation token. And that is fine with me. Or they can Brotherhood End just kill the Charming Scoundrel, and that's also very fine with me. Play with our goose for a bit. Give him a little goose icon. Ooh, there you go. Nice 4-4. Four, four. I will block. Yes. I will block. Sure. It's been announced. We will draw a card. Okay, so if I do this and this, then I'll have one, two, three, five, and then I can sacrifice three things. I guess if I don't do that, how many do I got? I got three creatures in the graveyard? Yeah, so if I just do this, 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 I don't have enough mana to do it, so I just sacrifice one, two, three, bring it, bring it all back. Uh, yeah, let's do a wicked roll. We'll attach it to this. 
everyone gets haste, and then we just kill our opponent. And then we give him the goose. Perfect. Okay, next game. How do you like that, opponent? Trying to go... Trying to, they're trying to play magic, and we're going to say no. I don't want them to play magic. It's goose time. Our opponent didn't realize that it was goose time. Fools. They're waiting, they're sideboarding, they're thinking. They're wondering what they could have done differently. And the answer is, I don't know. I don't know, that's what happens when you get greedy opponent. They thought they could race me with their little incubation tokens. Not a chance. They should have just played a Droxa. Clearly I can't deal with that. Or just have a Sunfall in their hand. I can't deal with that one either. Kind of sucks. Do not like Sunfall. Or Farewell. One day they'll rotate. And then we'll have, you know, gameplay. Where you can actually uh, play your cards. And not just have them exiled. Not be punished for playing cards into play. Or maybe they've quit. They could have quit magic. Is this the fall of the Roman Empire? Maybe. Nope. They've decided to play magic again. We're back in it. Let's see what's up. As we wait. We're waiting. Waiting for our opponent. Alright, sweet. Uh, yep. And looks good. We'll keep. We got the Collector's Vault. We got Flush Forger. So yeah, we'll, we'll start with Wretchless Fortress into Blackleaf Cliffs. Another two drop, but I think the Vault's... Uh, actually, maybe we will Bloodcaster. Just get the aggro going. Yeah, Bloodcaster into Flesh Forger into a Sushi. Seems like a decent curve. Were they? Oh, they're not playing anything. Oh, we're gonna attack first. They take two. We play good old flesh gorger. We actually don't mind if they counter. Like make disappear is fine. Whoa, make disappear. It's like they've done that every game on the same thing. I'm just gonna yeah, give him a little sleepy. Perfect. Okay. Well, oh, this is this is good news. Uh, so we're gonna attack in. Now we we are worried about Sunfall now. But first, we're gonna play Blood Tithe Harvester. There he is. Get our blood. Lecture's fault. This is they're gonna counter again. Look at it. Isn't that cool? I use cool in the most sarcastic way I can. This is silly. The five color deck. Oh wait, no, there it is. Where's everyone's favorite? Uh, we have still a flesh gorger in the graveyard, so. Maybe they just play something silly and I can. Alright. Now we're rocking. If I draw a land, we're in business. Well, if I draw a land, we're really in business. Super business? Give me the business. Show me. It's not quite a land. I guess I still play. Eh, no, I just play a sushi. Archangel of Wrath. Is it both? Double kicker? Okay. We're still somewhat in business. Get a blood token. Make treasures. Mm. 
At least to kill the Archangel. Or, I don't know. We're just gonna cast a Tali. We're gonna cast an Atali. Uh, because their deck might have some great stuff we can cast. Like this hurt migration for 1 3 3. <laughs> Alright, well, an Atali's in play at least. Which means if we do get another mana, we can Arch Priest and it has Trample, so we'll be able to definitely reanimate something. Regardless of their blockers. This is fine. They can they can bop bop. Yep. Sure. Take the damage. Take the damage. It's fine. Okay. We'll take the damage. They can gain their life. Use the token. But this is pretty good. So Atali. Big and strong. We're attacking in. Doesn't matter how many creatures you block with. We got Death Touch. Are they gonna try? I uh, hopefully they just try and kill it. Hell yeah! Uh, it doesn't matter. Trample Death Touch is a hell of a drug. We're gonna do that. Everything dies. Atali dies. We get a bat token, and then we just get to bring back Atali. And we get to get rid of this. And get all the abilities. Stomper. Stomper's fine. I mean, obviously, Sunfall is devastating right here, but I think we're in great shape. Pending a Sunfall. Uh, we will not block. Right? They don't have enough to Sunfall us. So we gotta just do this. This is pretty great. Uh, we're gonna turn our Archpriest into... Uh, are we gonna turn our Archpriest... We might just do it to the Airborne Scavengers and gain more life. Yeah, I think we're just going to turn that into that. We're definitely going in with everything. Uh, we will exile... Do we want to exile this? I don't think so. Let's get rid of Sunfall in case they have a way of getting it back. They have to block the Archfiend. Or the Archpriest. But if they kill too many of my creatures, we get the Vat working. They're in a bad situation. Hell yeah. Okay. This is very good for us. Very, very good for us. We get that. Uh, we will actually just bring back the Atsushi. We want to keep, in case they have a Sunfall, we want to keep our creature in the graveyard. Okay, they're cycling. Uh, are they conceding? It land? Is it land Sunfall? Ya dick. Ooh, definitely block here. Perfect. Treasure. I think that's it. Uh, do we have anything with haste? Uh, we could bring that back, but I think we're just going to attack. Exile their land. The graveyard. Give them the goose. Give them the Elish Norn love. Give them the shishy hand. We'll, we'll do the whole gauntlet of everything. And we'll prime the goose again, and we'll say your go. Uh, they could have Wandering Emperor. That's obviously a choice. Okay. Holly is Trample. So we're going to block like that and die?
More goose for them. Perfect. That's a victory if I ever saw one. Uh, all right. Nice stuff. Look at us winning. Perfect. Well, that brings us to the end of this beautiful video. Uh, wouldn't change a thing about this deck. I love it. So much fun. Maybe more Tallies? I don't know. That was fun. I, I really enjoyed that. I mean, Archpreach of Shadows, Lich Knight's Conquest. Super crazy card. Uh, yeah, just fun stuff. You know, we make our little collector's vault. Make our old stuff. Pop some things. I mean, the creature lands didn't play too much of a role. We animated one, one ox and then it died immediately. But, uh, these Omnixiluses are probably pretty bad. We should probably just have, you know what, if there's one thing I'm going to change, it's going to be my sideboard. And let's go. Destroy enchantment. We can have some destroy evils in the sideboard. I think that is what I would do. Or maybe like one destroy evil, one Lauren, and I don't know. What else can we do? A Shildred? Twisted Embrace? Something to that we can resurrect is good. That's why I like the lore in there. Yeah. Yeah, maybe two destroy evils and a lore. Perfect. All right. That is how the deck should be. And uh, thanks for watching. Do the like, do the subscribe, do the things. And I will see you in the next one. Bye for now.